Hello guys, welcome to my new video. Stefano here. Today I want to talk about the gig that killed Duran Duran. And uh, was it all Simon's fault? Well, Simon for everyone was the only one of the five Duran Duran members uh, accused for decades for the famous off-key falsetto note. But uh, let's talk deeply about it. Well, at the end of this video, I will show you that he was not the only one who failed that night. And uh, I think that you will see that uh, almost all the other members of Duran Duran failed. What was Live Aid? Live Aid was a multi venue benefit concert held on Saturday 13 July of 1985 as well as a music-based fundraising initiative. The original event was organized by Bob Geldof to raise further funds for relief of the 1983-1985 famine in Ethiopia. A movement that started with the release of the successful charity single Do They Know It's Christmas in December 1984. Built as the global jukebox, Live Aid was held simultaneously at the Wembley Stadium in London, uh, attended by about uh, 72,000 people, and the JFK Stadium in Philadelphia, attended by about uh, 90,000 people. On the same day, concerts inspired by the initiative were held in uh, many other countries, such as the Soviet Union, Canada, Japan, Yugoslavia, Austria, Australia, West Germany, and so on. Uh, it was one of the largest satellite link-ups and television broadcasts of all time, an estimated audience of 1.9 billion in 150 nations watched the live broadcast, nearly 40% of the world population. Many artists performed at the Live Aid, such as U2, Queen, David Bowie, Paul McCartney and many, many others. As a follow-up to the Christmas 1984 Band Aid single, Duran Duran performed in front of 90,000 people and an estimated 1.5 billion TV viewers at the live concert in the JFK Stadium in Philadelphia. While their Bon song, A View to a Kill, uh, held the top spot on the American charts. It was not intended to be a farewell performance. The band planned uh, only to take uh, a break after four years of non-stop touring, but the original five did not play live together again until July 2003. And here we are, during the Live Aid set, Le Bon hit an off-key falsetto note in the course of A View to a Kill, an error that was trumpeted by numerous media as the boom note heard around the world, in contrast to Freddie Mercury's note here around the world. Le Bon later described the moment as the most embarrassing of his career. Okay, before going on, I want to tell you that if you want to support my channel, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment and take a look to my online shop. And uh, with all that said, let's move on. And uh, after decades, let's say the truth. It was totally Simon Le Bon's fault 
for one and only one note. Okay, let's go deep and uh, we will discover that that night all the Duran Duran members played almost one wrong note. The only one in the band that didn't play anything wrong was, uh, I don't tell you the name, but he couldn't play anything wrong that night. So let's take a look to the Simon error. Let's go. Okay, this is uh, the Roger Taylor, the drummer, error. Let's take a look. Okay, what happens is that uh, he stops playing in the wrong place and uh, he recognizes the error and then he start again playing. Okay, let's take a look again. Okay, and uh, this is Andy Error. Let's go. Okay, do you hear something missing? Andy misses a part of the guitar riff. Let's hear again. Okay, now it's time for John. Take a look here. Let's listen again. Okay, John is playing one wrong note. So Simon, you don't have to worry because uh, you was not the only one that played one wrong note that night. So guys, Thank you for watching and again, if you want to support my channel, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment and uh, take a look to my online shop. Let's see you on the next video. Bye!